Hello, and welcome to our Teen Stress Less Kit demo with the Public Library of Brookline. My name is Robin, and I'm a teen librarian at the Brookline Village Library. I'm here today to show you all how to make a DIY stress ball. Is this your first Public Library of Brookline to go program? Here's how it works. Each month, the library is offering new take-home program kits, complete with everything you need to follow along and video or written instructions created by one of your local librarians. The best part? Absolutely no due dates. You can keep everything included in your kit. Visit brklib.com to go for a full list of our current kit offerings and follow the link there, or visit brklib.com slash eventbrite to reserve yours for free pickup at any library location. Let's get started. Inside this month's stress kit, you should have gotten a balloon, and a little baggie that was filled with what are called expandable water beads. They're very small, but they will expand in water. You'll need a bowl. You need some water. You'll also need to provide a pair of scissors. To get started, you'll actually need to start 24 hours earlier than you want to make the stress ball because you need to expand your water beads. To do that, you can just add the beads to your bowl and then add your water to the beads. And you can see they're very tiny now, but they will expand quite a lot. I would let them expand for about seven, eight hours. And then after that, you can double check on them. You might need to add some more water if you want them to expand a little more. Now you can see that the water beads have expanded. Then you're gonna need a plastic bottle. It doesn't really matter what kind of bottle as long as it's big enough to hold the beads that you've expanded. Take off the top. Then what we need to do is create a funnel that will let you transfer all the water beads inside of the bottle. You can use an actual funnel if you have one. For this project, you can use the plastic bag that came with your kit in order to funnel the water beads into the bottle. So you just need to snip off a corner of the bag and make sure that it's not too big, but that it, it will be big enough to wrap around the opening of the bottle. Then you need to kind of carefully stretch it around the outside of the bottle. You have to be pretty careful and, and pretty coordinated to do this. You will need to dump the water beads into the bag and therefore through into the bottle. And it takes a little bit of balance and a little bit of concentration to make sure you don't drop all the water beads. But once you do, then you can get it very quickly into the bottle this way. You may have to maneuver them around a little bit and move it, but that's fine. Once you're done, you've got them all in the bottom of the bottle. Now, you wanna take your balloon and blow it up so that it's a relatively medium-sized balloon. And you wanna keep it closed so that the air doesn't escape. And then this takes a little bit of practice, but you'll need to stretch the opening of the balloon over the bottle, the same way that you just did with the plastic bag. And you'll need to make sure that the air doesn't all come out at the same time. You want to create a seal so that um, you'll be able to shake the bottle and the balloon and get the beads into the balloon. So you want to make sure that there's a pretty tight seal and make sure it's secure on all sides. And when you shake the bottle, you're going to want to hold on to the balloon to make sure that nothing escapes. And now for the fun part is that you shake the whole thing. You shake the balloon, you shake the bottle, and you see if you can get all the beads to come through. It does take a little bit of work, and sometimes this happens.
You'll want to let the air out of the balloon and make sure that you don't let too many of the water beads escape. Once you've got all the beads together in the water balloon, you just tie off the balloon. And then you've got your stress ball. All of our kit programs are generously sponsored by the library trustees and the friends of the Brookline Public Library. Thank you all so much for relaxing with us today.